Any way it goes, we're gonna say, how's your mama now for the TV land out there? What's up wrestling fans? Welcome to another episode of Diamond Championship Wrestling. I'm HD and this is Gene Miller. And tonight we've got some good matchups for you, but first Gene, give them some information. Well, we got two hard hitting matches for tonight. Came out of Pascagoula VFW that we shot. Uh, also, if you want to get a hold of us, find out what's going on each week, you can go to our web, uh, website, www.diamondchampionshipwrestling.com or you can come to our Facebook page. Got all the information that you need. Like us, you'll get information every day by doing that. All right, you heard it here. So let's take it away to Joey Goat and check out those fights. Is the current Diamond Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, now residing in New York City, New York, Perfection, Sean Black.
Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Diamond Championship Wrestling. I am HD and I am joined by none other than Mr. Gene Miller. How you doing Gene? I'm doing great HD and I hope all the fans out there on TV land are doing good also. And as you can see we've got a slam packed ring. The Royal Rumble is taking place and uh, Gene, it looks like everybody's just kind of getting around right now. We got two people sized up in the middle, and that is uh, El Psycho Gato, and is that MT2 there, Gene? It is. It's MT2. They've been having a lot of heat lately in their matches, so it doesn't surprise me that they're squaring off right away. Now, there's Battle Royals for the number one contendership for the heavyweight title. Looks like everybody's ganging up on MT2 at one time. There we go. It's going to be an interesting match. Everybody's uh, Everybody wants to be that heavyweight champion, but we do have a couple new people as we go. We'll uh, talk about them. It's Brimstone and Hellfire. Uh, they work around Alabama and uh, Mississippi, so it'll be interesting how, how they fare with our organization. Yes, indeed. And uh, MT2 just getting the brunt of it, but he's still not out, Gene. No, nope, he's hugging that uh, rope like it's his mama. He ain't going to let go. All right. And uh, Gene, do you have an early favorite for this? You know, there's so many good guys out there, you know, the Russian Vladimir Kolov, but as I talk about Oh, him, there goes the Russian. Charles West puts him over, so he's out. Uh, Charles West is another one that could be a favorite. Uh, J.C. Stokes, the fan favorite, Dur uh, Jarrell Maxwell. Yep, so, there's Jarrell right there yeah. with Riot, got him on the ring. And Gene, I haven't seen this, um, the Irish looking wrestler over here in the corner that's uh, with El Psycho Gato yet. Yeah, that's Sean O'Reilly. He used to work for us uh, probably eight months ago, and uh, he moved and moved to Florida, so he quit working with us. Uh, oh. But he's back in town working a little bit with us now. And you can see the bodyguard. He's actually in the ring wanting to be the heavyweight yeah, champion. I see that. And, I, I, you know, my favorite is, who I'm rooting for is the bodyguard. I, I just, I'm a bodyguard fan, Gene. I'm telling you, he, he would be a great representative, to, <laughs> the little guy being the heavyweight champion. Exactly. All right, and uh, there, oh, looks like Riot almost goes out. Whoa, my gosh! There was an unidentified flying object coming out of the ring, Gene. Yep, that was O'Reilly, so welcome back to DCW, Sean O'Reilly. I mean, he just hit that hard floor like All right, what do we got nothing. here? Elgato's bodyguard climbing the top rope over there. We just lost his vision. I can see, like you said, MT2 and El Psycho. Oh, there goes the bodyguard. He risked life and limb to just, he got himself out by jumping into uh, MT2. Yep. He's definitely a risk, risk taker. Now these two guys you see right here, that's Brimstone punching on LB. Okay. And that's Hellfire, his tag team partner. Some big boys, Gene. Yes, they are. They like to fight. See that? So. And, uh, here we go. It looks like they're going to... The oh, oh, man. There goes LB. Well, you see their tag team partners. They're working together. That's what they do. But it'll be interesting if they end up as the last two. Yep. What's going to happen then? Brimstone's taking it to Charles West. Charles. Oh, nope. There goes Brimstone. Charles West. Look at this. He might take both of them out, Gene. Oh, he get him with that signature drop kick that we all know Charles West does so well. And look at that, oh, another drop kick. There goes Riot. That was O'Malley. Didn't know O'Malley could get up that high, but we got three good wrestlers. And then there were that three, team. Gene. You got JL3, who is a crowd favorite. You got the Charles West and Stephen O'Malley. So you got two of them ganging up on O'Malley. Yep. Both of them have had heat in the past with him. Well, also, you know, O'Malley and... Um, and Sean Black seem to be uh, somewhat buddies nowadays, Gene. So I think they want to go ahead and eliminate. Oh, wait a minute! Charles West, a veteran in the game, he is uh, he he's not playing, man. He's going to go with the next available person. He wants this shot. Yes, he does. Yeah, well, getting back to O'Malley and Black, they have formed a group called the Resistant. Okay. Meaning they're resistant to uh, me and. Uh, DCW. They're trying to do a takeover bid, I think. Okay. Well, you know, Sean Black, he is, um, he's really just, uh, he's really turned the page, Gene, as you can say, from a fan favorite to a fan hated. Yes. Sean's always been that way. He does what's best for him. Right. And uh, O'Malley and... Uh-oh. Uh 
Whoa, Gene, there goes Charles West. He did not see that coming. Look at this. JL3 surprises O'Malley and wins the Battle Royal to become the number one contender for the heavyweight Look title. Look at this, Gene. What, we got something. Wow. Oh, my gosh. See, There's Sean Black. That's just what you were talking about, about Black changing into a, a ruthless person. Oh. If you remember the stipulations they talked about earlier was oh. if O'Malley would have happened to win this, Sean wouldn't have had to defend the title because O'Malley would have went ahead and took the defeat. There's Charles West coming to, he, this is just nonsense, Gene. That's what Charles West had that look on his face, like what is going on? Yeah, Charles has got some uh, history with both those guys. And Be back with more DCW action right after this. Bobby Tyson's Tire and Automotive has been proudly serving the community for over 11 years. Bobby Tyson's Tire and Automotive is a full-service automotive repair shop whose central focus is customer service. Their ASC certified mechanics are trained to accurately diagnose automotive issues the first time around. Here at Bobby Tyson's, we don't just sell tires, we maintain vehicles and we repair them when they're broken. So give us a shout at 872-2932 and we will take care of you. Welcome back to Diamond Championship Wrestling. Welcome back everybody and as you can see JL3 is in the ring and he's got a heavyweight championship shot tonight and man Gene I tell you just from my time being here JL3 has come a long way. Yes he has. He's uh, 
what we call green in the business. He's only been in the business about two to three years, but he has made such a tremendous uh, leap in ability and confidence in that ring the last six months. All right. And uh, Sean Black, uh, once we were talking about earlier, once a crowd favorite, now a crowd hated. And you were talking about Sean Black does for Sean Black, what's best for him. And right now, he is, uh, he's is—he's got his eyes on, on completely upending Diamond Championship Wrestling, Gene. Yep, he's, uh, he's got the heavyweight title, so he figures he's uh, the kingpin, the boss, and all that stuff. Right. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, especially if JL3 happens to take the title from him tonight. Yep, and uh, the crowd is definitely hoping that he does. Yep, the crowd does. They love JL3. They've, you know, they've come to love him and, and back him with all their cheers and all that. So it's going to be interesting. But believe this or not, give you some history. Sean Black had a hand in training JL3 back years ago. Wow. So it's almost like a, you know, professor student type Ooh. thing, trainer student. Right, and uh, it's kind of like a, an Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker situation here. Yep. Actually, it would be reversed because Anakin, yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm a Star Wars nerd. All right, and there we go. Sean Black now feeling that test of my, ooh, JL3 stomping on the fingers. Picking him up, Gene, boom, slams him down. Big body slam by JL3. He's got a little bit of agility, ooh. but Sean was pretty smart there giving them uh, knees. Ow! Big kick to the side of the head, going for the pin. JL3, kicking out. Got some stamina there. Teacher and apprentice. Teacher and student. As oh. you alluded to earlier. Well, hopefully Sean don't think he's going to uh, just walk over JL3. Yeah, and Gene, it kind of, that backflip that JL3 does, it's like Sean already knew that that was about to happen, and that goes with his his knowledge of JL3 and teaching him as well. Am I wrong? No, you're right. You know, sometimes the, the teacher says, I'll teach you everything you know, but I'm not going to teach you everything I know. Absolutely. So he's always got some tricks in his bag to Sean Black. Now, he's pretty heavy handed. He loves giving those chops to those guys. He does, man. And those things echo throughout the entire city of Pascagoula, it seems like. So the referee's telling Sean to get out of the corner with him, pulling his hair, and the referee's giving, telling him to break it. That's our senior referee, Robert. So. There we go, Gene, working on that knee. Looks like he's trying to wear him down. Huh? Oh. JL3 is a little bit younger, but there's not a big age difference here. But like I said, JL3 has come a long way. So, you know, Sean has learned that he's going to have to wear him down. And, you know, do the best he can with him. He's pulling him out of the ring now, Gene. Ow! Still working on that knee. You know, as they say, the hardest part of the ring is, is the ed outer, outer ed edges. Yes, sir. There is some padding there, but not much. Now, we will say, Sean's attitude has changed, but, you know, he's still a very crafty veteran. Oh, absolutely. You know, he knows what he's doing. He's been there a time or two, so... It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. See if he pulls out some tricks he didn't teach JL3. JL3 fighting back. Smart move by Black, kicking that knee out. Like they say, if you don't have your base to stand on, you can't fight back. So Sean's doing a really smart thing right now, working on that leg. You can just tell by looking at Sean Black's face, his attitude has changed. I know it, man. He's got that look in his eyes. He just looks angry all the time. He feels that people just didn't side with him, didn't cheer him enough, don't understand it. I mean, if you remember back a couple episodes back, I mean, they were, they were standing on their feet, hollering, hooting for him. Right. Nice knife head shot, taking JL3 down to the mat. Right off his feet, Gene. Yeah, Sean's got a lot of tricks that he can do. Oh. 
and knee just give out. Yeah. So look at Sean Black, he's laughing. He's taking uh, pleasure in, in him dismantling jail free. Referees asked him, does he want to give up? Jail free said no. He's going to fight until he can't fight no more. Jail free's not a quitter. Right. Once again, knee giving out, Gene. Sean's just loving that. You know, certain times like this, the referee's got to make conscious decisions about the health of the wrestlers. He does have the authority to stop the match. Even though, you know, the fans don't want to see it, JL3 definitely doesn't want to have his chance of the title taken away. So. Wow. A nice little reverse there. The big clothesline. Going for the pin. Now see, that was pretty nonchalant HD. That's that's the arrogance of Sean now since his attitude's changed. He thought he had him beat, just laid back on him like he was on a couch. Yeah. Crowd hyping up JL3. JL3's got to make a comeback here. There's a punch. Ooh, another huge elbow. Bam! Big spine buster by Sean Black. Reminiscence of Double A Arn Anderson. Sean does that as well as anybody. So, but look, look again. This is where his attitudes change. He's just, you know, standing around, nonchalantly pinning him. I don't see where he thinks he's going to, you know, be able to get the pin on him. I don't care looks who he's in. He looks in. impatient and frustrated, Gene. Well, he just thinks everybody should lay down once he hits them. But you know, he's good, but he's not that good. Like I said, JL3 is an up-and-comer, so, you know, he's going to have to do something to take this kid out. Oh. So far, it's been all Sean Black in this match. Well, that might be the smartest thing for JL3 with Sean kicking him outside the rings. Let's see what's going to happen now. Uh, Gene, this looks like it could possibly be bad news for JL3. Oh my gosh! Suplex on the concrete floor. Oh there, man! There is no give on those floors, fans. That is tile with concrete underneath it. Look at him body shake. Oh, that has got to be painful, Gene. Man, that is that is not good. I, huh? I don't see how JL3 is even here right now. That chop was just ridiculous. Yeah, JL3 smart rolling it back into the ring. See, Sean Black should be jumping on him. He's got him beat pretty good. Yeah. Question is, can he keep him down to pin? Again, that's the arrogance of Sean Black. Standing on his hair. You know, I'm not even sure that Sean wants to beat him, HD. I think he wants to punish him more than anything right now. Yeah, it seems that way for sure. Because uh, after that mayhem outside of the ring and then that enormous chop, he could have just easily pinned him, Gene. That probably would have been it. I think you're right. I mean, that was a big fall Ooh. on his back. Big right hand by Sean. You know, Sean's signature mover is a super kick. You know, JL3's ripe for that right now. Oh, yeah, that would have been the, that's prime setup right there. But you know, it's like I said, I think Sean's doing, trying to punish him more than anything. Oh, Gene, that's, what was that? That's what they call a code breaker. A code breaker, yeah. huh? Uh, Jericho from the W. He made that famous. And JL3 has learned how to use that. And he's got Sean reeling right now. I think if he had the energy, he could be close to pinning him. <laughs> so... They're both worse for wear. Let's see what's going to happen here. Wow, that code breaker really took Sean out. He had all the momentum until that thing happened. Yeah, you're catching two knees in the, in the mush. <laughs> yeah. That does a wonder on you. 
Oh my goodness. What nice a vicious clothesline. Nice clothesline. JL3 is making this comeback fun. Here we go. That was a good body slam considering he's got one bad wheel. I think we all know what's about to happen. JL3 is going up top, Gene. He likes With doing hurt leg and all. He likes doing those moonsaults. Yeah. Here we go. This could be it right here. Oh, wow. There it is. Signature maneuver. And that's it, Gene. That is all she wrote. The teacher, once again, anticipated the student. It seems like Sean Black knew that was coming. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, if you want to find out some more information about the local wrestling that's going on on the Gulf Coast, come visit my page at Walter's Gulf Coast Wrestling Reviews. For the latest on Gulf Coast Wrestling, visit Walter's Gulf Coast Wrestling Reviews on Facebook.